Hey everybody, so today we're going to be testing a few sets of fuses actually. Um, you can see here I have a, let's see if I can get this focused, yeah, 300 amp, um, just a generic Amazon fuse. And I have one of our 300 amp fuses. I'm going to compare how both of these react when we pull 300, you know, and then possibly more current through them. Um, and then I had a lot of requests for like Sky High Car Audio and uh, GP Audio. So these are a bit more. These are 400 and the GP Audio is actually 450. And we'll be putting it up next to a 400 amp low voltage fuse. Um, first thing I'm going to do though is get the resistance reading on these. Okay, so on this 300 amp, we have about 0.636 milliohms. And on our 300, we have 0.097. Okay, so next up we're going to measure the, the 400 group. So for the Sky High Car Audio Fuse, 400 amps. We have 0.176. For the GP Audio, the 450. Quite a bit higher actually. Um, 0.497. Let's make And now here's our 400. Point zero four seven. Okay, so now I'm going to post some information. You'll see it right here on the screen. How much voltage drop will occur with each of these fuses at a given current. So um, feel free to pause and check out this information. Um, we'll probably be discussing it and we'll be demonstrating it in just a few moments when we take these to our test bench and begin pulling current through them. Okay, so I have the first fuse hooked up to our test bench. And I have two monitors. One monitor is testing the voltage right before the fuse. And the other one is testing it right after the fuse. So we're recording. The difference between these two um, will be caused by specifically the fuse itself. Um, and I'm also going to take this thermal probe. And attach it going across this. That way we'll be able to get a temperature reading on the fuse. See how hot it is. And you can see right here, that is, uh, I don't know if you can actually see it, it's 35 Celsius right now. Uh, it is pretty hot in our warehouse, but that is the temperature that this Thermal Pro is picking up. Okay, so now I'm going to turn on an inverter and which I have hot air guns hooked up to. And so when I turn this on, we're gonna see a load pulled. We're gonna see a difference in voltage that's based on, um, you know, what the fuse is causing. And we're gonna see how the fuse responds to certain loads. So let's go ahead and um, start and put a load on this and check out how this, how this fuse responds. Okay, so we have about 270 amps currently going through this fuse. And you can see we are losing at 270 amps on this 300 amp fuse. Um, 
we're losing about a half a volt. Okay, and this skew's blue. Um, and if you look, our temperature, um, well, you're not gonna be able to see it here, so I will bring up my heat gun. You can see there's the highest temperature is gonna be up in the upper right hand corner that it's seeing. So we are, well, it's cooling down very quickly, but it was, yeah, it's still well into the 200s. Um, there we go. So that did not take long at all. That was a, you know, supposed to be rated for 300 amps, but as you just saw, 270 amps blew that almost, almost immediately. So there wasn't a lot of delay. Um, it did get very hot. You can see we, you know, this monitor went out because you know, no longer is there a connection there. It didn't even really have time for the thermal probe to register the heat, but let's go ahead and zoom in. And you can see that fuse is definitely, definitely smoked. Um, so that was a generic 300 amp fuse from Amazon. Next, we will go ahead and try the 300 amp low voltage. Go ahead and get that picked up now, and then run this test again. Okay, so as you can see, um, I do have it hooked up. So the bottom monitor, once again, is the same. It's going to be the same test. I'm going to run the same amount of amperage through it. And let's see how this fuse responds. Okay, so we're pulling same, 265. You can see we have about 0.1 volt of drop, pulling 263 amps. A little bit less actually, we'll know right about that. I'm looking at the temperature, and after this amount of time, we're at about 113. That's actually up to about 125. But you can see we pulled 173 through this for you know a duration of time. So um, voltage drop is still about 0.1. So we're not you know increasing in voltage drop. I'm still seeing about the same amount of temperatures about the same, 120, 
like 122. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. So, this 300 amp fuse handled the 270 amp load, no problem at all. Um, not any severe voltage loss. Um, yeah, so it went pretty well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick it up a notch and we're going to go to about 360, 350, 360 amps. And we're going to go ahead and try it again. Okay, so here it goes, higher fuse on the 300 amp fuse, or higher amperage pool. So the temperature, You'll see this is about this is about 140 now so it has climbed um, voltage loss is at about 0.13 now but overall we've leveled out at about 150 so it doesn't look like 350 is actually going to pop this fuse, which it shouldn't. You need to pull generally about 150 uh, percent of the fuse's rating to, you know, get it to um, pop at least, you know, to do it very quickly at all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Okay, so next up. Um, while this finishes charging up, or while getting a little bit more charge to it. We are going to do these a little bit differently. We have a pair of 400 and a 450 amp. Um, instead of going for, you know, what it takes to blow these fuses, I am going to check on the voltage drop, test the voltage drop, at, a, at rated or a little bit overrated, just to see the performance of them. Um, so I'm going to start off with the Sky High Car Audio. 400 amp fuse. We're going to pull about 450 amps through it for 20 to 30 seconds and monitor the voltage drop and see what we see. What we see. So we're going to stop this charging. Okay, I'm going to begin the test now. Okay, so a summary of what we just saw. The Sky High 400 amp fuse did pretty well. It dropped about 0.24 volts at 480 amps, uh, but it did complete our test. The Glow Voltage 400 amp fiberglass fuse dropped even less at 0.18 volts of drop at 480 amps. But the GP Car Audio fuse, which was rated at 450 amps and should have been able to withstand more than the other two did not make it through the test and very quickly the voltage drop started to spiral out of control the fuse heated up and the fuse popped well before the test was over and did not handle its rated capacity so i mean this is a, a failure on that fuse's part uh, if you have any questions just let me know and yeah feel free to discuss